welcome to this part that is part 12 of this playlist we are looking at some of the real certification questions for solution architect profession in today's part we will look at questions linked with these topics please do not forget to subscribe and hit the like button subscription and likes ensures that the audience is liking the content and i can put some more informative content around this please refer the previous parts for part questions 1 to 33 now let us look at question 34 so this question is talking about you know they have ebs optimized instance and you want to know like which io chunk determines the bandwidth experience so there is no logic to this my understanding is if you use this chunk this will you can you know decide to provide maximum bandwidth so i would just choose this answer there is no logic as to why because this is the chunk that has been designed for bandwidth experience now let us go to the next question so this question is asking like you have uh, ec2 and you have taken a snapshot so would you be able to use s3 apis for this purpose so let's be very clear if you are using ec2 snapshots then you should use ec2 apis the first thing is if you see a this says so basically a is saying that you use s3 apis if your snapshot is stored in s3 so if you understand ec2 inside it there are ebs volumes if you are trying to take the snapshot you are doing it for ebs volumes so if you see this you can take snapshots of ebs volumes that is fine and the snapshot copy is actually placed in s3 okay and a duplication of storage is done across az's that means if there are three az's this snapshot will not be stored only on one az but maybe more than one it may be two or even three so that you do not lose data if you see this backups snapshots and etc why do we take snapshots it it is a mechanism to take backups and when you take backups you have to be double sure that you have multiple copies and that's why there is a duplication and redundancy built across ACs. Now, in order to access these snapshots, there is something called EBS Direct APIs. So we saw that EBS APIs should be used. So S3 cannot be used. So when you talk about EC2 snapshots, these are basically EBS snapshots. And the answer should be no, because you cannot use S3 APIs you should use EBS APIs. That's why this is my answer. A is wrong because it is talking about S3 APIs usage, which is incorrect. Now C says all snapshots are stored in S3, which is correct. But in order to access, suppose you want to read or write a data in that snapshot. So you cannot do it through S3 APIs. You will need EBS APIs for that and the last option I could not understand like that I could not see anything called EC2 APIs so I will mark this wrong so this is my final answer so this next one is about cloud formation so we want to understand like if there is a failure state which options or which option is a right answer so what happens to denote a failure state let's look at rollback in progress so this is correct because what happens is cloud formation creates some resources and there is a failure in creation so it just rolls it back because imagine you already have a cloud formation template and you are providing an update now you update this template so that it creates some additional resources and it modifies some of the existing resources which is already there in production now something goes bad logically won't you want to roll it back immediately so that production is still usable that is number one thing we want 
so this is the state which denotes a failure state see delete happens if you are trying to delete certain resources in this case delete doesn't means failure we will delete if we don't want that resource in production going forward in that case okay cleanup in progress oh gosh i i could not even spot that so if you see like in progress statuses there are four of them i could not spot them so this is incorrect for me and review in progress is also incorrect because if a failure happen it will roll it back it will not waste time it will tell okay now somebody review it it will send a mail and say review it and then your production is down and you are still waiting for someone to review this update and someone reviews in 3 4 hours that is not how it is done you just roll it back man because your production should be usable that will reduce the production downtime so this is the final answer now if you see this new question it asks like you know there is a service called aws iam and what it does is it is used for authentication like the moment you log into your application and you put your username and passwords it authenticates through this mechanism so you can pr also provide permissions fine grained permissions like who can access what service and so on the question here is like when you are creating a password so what assertions is required there the first one says that they must contain unicode characters so that is not a necessity it you you can just create a, like ascii characters and it would still work b says they must contain a basic ascii character yes they must contain that is correct c says they must begin and end with a forward slash which is incorrect that is not a requirement have you seen any password where any system where it says it should begin with a forward slash and end with a forward slash it doesn't happen and d says it cannot contain basic ASC ascii characters which is wrong like the, your password has to have alphabets like a to z and so on so this is wrong so this is my final answer now people might ask this is a difficult exam it's a professional exam do we get such basic questions yes the professional exam is a mixed bag of questions from long questions short questions logical questions multi choice questions simple questions difficult questions scenario based questions theoretical questions so hit the subscribe and the like button i will make sure i put more contents around this certification this brings us to the end of this part in this part we covered questions linked with these topics do feel free to drop your feedback see you in the next part